Buongiorno! Hello and welcome to this highlight video, stage 3, Race Like a Pro series. It's Monday evening, so my first try on this route, and you will see a very, very quick start. You can't uh, see the colors from the power and the bottom because there is a picture from myself. But I think oof, for the first one, one and a half minutes, it's in the orange or red uh, area. So it was a very, very uh, fast start. Now I'm texting. I uh, wrote a text before the race and then I copy and pasted it in Companion. That this is a time-based series and so it would make sense to work together and most important uh, we got three specific power-ups so feather ghost and the burrito and I wrote that you should not use a burrito in the race and if you got a burrito uh, that you should throw it away because it makes no sense to use a burrito just if you're attacking, but you're not going to attack because this is a very flat course and we are such a big field, you see 277 riders and yeah, but yeah, you saw the first guy using a burrito um, there's the next one uh, and the next one and the next one and so I was typing point 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 come on this is so stupid because you make the race uh, not only for the others harder but also for yourself so it makes absolutely no sense to use this burrito if you're not going for a attack um, yeah so I don't know if some people don't know what this power up is or if they are not well prepared or I don't know if they are so strong that they think, oh, I use a burrito, I make it harder for myself and for everyone else. Um, yes. Okay, but uh, yeah, on which route we are? We are on the route RGV, RGV, 24.9 kilometers and only 107 meters of elevation. So, yeah, the flattest route in this month series. In London we had 230 meters elevation, in Richmond 140 and in the last race we will have over 400. I'm looking forward for this one um, but today only 107 meters and the first half of this race is completely flat, pan flat, until we reach the aqueduct KOM um, yeah, but this will be after, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 kilometers. Um, so yeah, you see the pace, the speed, 47 kilometers per hour, very high, and yeah.
so you saw the pace was very high only green and yellow and a little bit blue at the bottom so a lot of tempo pace and now you see once again a burrito so you have to increase your power because you want to get out of the I don't know uh, the exact radius I think five meters uh, I will check it um, yes so uh, very high steady pace and here and there you had to push in the red zone for some seconds because someone used a burrito which make the race even harder And then we hit the sprint, the pavé sprint reverse. And yeah, I kept my power up from the beginning because I think the feather is the only useful power up. You see once again the burritos and you see once again that I have to increase my power a lot to about 5 watts per kilogram only to hold my position because yeah the stupid burritos normally I love burritos we have a very nice Mexican restaurant here in, in my city in Brunswick Braunschweig uh, with a very delicious burrito or delicious burritos all of them are very nice um, yeah but in Swift I, I totally hate this power up um, I think there was only one race where it was useful but this was a very small field and then I went for a solo attack quite early I don't know maybe one kilometer before the finish line and I came through but normally if the field is bigger then it's so useless um, yeah okay I will stay here because we are uh, hitting the aqueduct KOM I can already tell you that there won't happening that much I try to ride a steady but high pace to keep contact with the front because yeah it's not necessary uh, to sprint for the KOM or something like that or to cross the line in the top 10 <laughs> and yeah now I'm lucky because the burrito is so far on the right side that I'm out of the area where it would uh, have an effect on me now I'm checking uh, the area the burrito doop -doop -doop. you can see a lot of people are using the feathers I'm at about 6 watts per kilogram um, yeah but now very uh, bad situation because this dude used his burrito right in front of me so I couldn't get closer to the front group that was not planned now I have to keep the pace high much longer than I wanted and then once again you see I don't know why they are doing this because they also want to come to the front group and for example the guy who uh, fall behind now you saw he used the burrito and he was moving backwards because if you use it you also have no effect uh, yeah no drafting effect 
but yeah you see I manage to get in the group easily and I can tell you the burrito I can read the text from Swift Power uh, Swift Insider when the burrito power up is activated riders within 2.5 meters of you will receive zero draft benefit forcing them to work harder to maintain speed this power up lasts for 10 seconds so but not only for the riders in 2.5 meters area but also for yourself of course so yeah it's one of the most misused power ups there's uh, an own art article about this on swift insider called misused swift power ups the breakaway burrito i will put the link of the art article in the description so if you're uh, new to uh, new to swift or to the uh, race power ups not the normal one you will would get in in free riding the feather the wan the aero helmet and the xp bonus um, there are other power ups which are event only like the burrito or the ghost or the anvil um, yeah so today also uh, a ghost were available as power up which makes you invisible for i don't know how many seconds maybe 10 seconds maybe less i don't know yeah. And now only two kilometers to go. It's rolling terrain here, a little bit of up and downs. And we were, I was connected with uh, two teammates from Team Wattfabrik. And we were talking before the race started that we could maybe attack here. Um, yeah, but we re realized quite early that this would, wouldn't be possible today because the pace is so high, the front group is still so big. I think about 100, 105 riders are still here in this front group. And you see even in the downhill how much I have to pedal to stay in contact to the front. And yeah, now I try to be quite far at the front. I even accept uh, to get not the perfect draft effect because I don't want to have a burrito in front of me. Um, and when I'm at the end of the field, 
and I want to come to the front because it's only a few hundred meters more to go and there's a bur burrito in front of me. I have no chance to get to the front if the fr front starts to uh, sprint or to increase the speed uh, with the lead out for the finish. So this is one example now. I realize I'm way, far, uh, way too far behind so I'm already pushing over 5 watts per kilogram to get in a better, better position. And that's also, you see, a burrito. So I once again, a little peak in power to get in front of him, out of the effect area. And then that's the reason why I start quite early to sprint. Because I think, okay, if I'm quite far at the front, then I don't care about the burritos. You see there are some burritos, but I get quite quick out of the, the area of effect. And yeah, now it's a very, very close finish in the, with the red bike. This is my teammate, Mark Bosch. He took the second place. I took the third place. And it was a very, very good time, I think. And Swift Power, it's, oh, it's the same time in Swift Power, 32.7. And yeah, it was quite fun and it was very hard because I said the pace was high and steady and then you had some some short intervals when somebody used the burrito and then the fast and long finish and yeah that's it see you soon like and subscribe leave a comment and right on